I'm Kate Murray. I teach ceramics at Santa Fe. And today I wanted to talk about jars with lids that fit. And there are lots and lots and lots of ways to make this work, but I want to show you three basic ways where the lid and the jar have slightly different relationships to each other. This is my favorite kind, the kind with, it's almost like a roof. It has an overhang and on the inside there's a little flange on the inside of the lid that fits down inside the neck of the jar so that when it's on there it won't slide around and fly off. This kind we call the inset kind of lid where the, the gallery that the lid sits in is split on the jar and the, the, the lid has got a basically flat bottom that just sits in there and this part of the neck is what keeps the lid from sliding around and coming off. And this kind, this is called a ginger jar. We could call this kind of lid the cap type lid because it's, it's just like a shallow bowl that fits down over the neck of the jar. And the neck of the jar is what keeps the lid from sliding around. So my plan for today is I have cross-section drawings of these kinds of lids so you can wrap your brain around exactly how the lid and the jar fit together. And then I'm going to throw one of each of these three kinds of jars with lids and then later trim knobs and, and, and finish the lids so that in the end you can see three new versions of this kind of jar. <laughs> 